Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to Fear the Walking Dead. This is my reaction to the mid-season premiere, and I feel like I'm a little bit in the minority uh, that I've actually liked the first half of the season. I feel like a lot of people haven't been too happy with it. Um, you know, it's not my favorite group of episodes ever on Fear, but I definitely have enjoyed a lot of them and... and uh, yeah, I just feel like that's not the popular opinion, but, you know, it's my opinion. So, um, I'm excited to get into the second half. Uh, we're going to war, apparently, um, and I, f I feel like it's going to get messy. Um, just everything between, specifically, Alicia and Strand. And I don't know who we're going to focus on in this episode, but I just feel like that aspect of it is going to get really <laughs> kind of crazy. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. Who said that? I know what music it is, I'm just saying, why is it being played? <laughs> medicine I gave you. You sick? No, that's not it. Then what is it? You d Sweetie, you don't know. Your dad? You kept saying Padre over and over in your sleep. Huh. I, I must have been confused. After what I did for you, oh. the least you can do is help me. Fix it. I'm really sorry, but I, I have to go. Hey, back off! Okay. You are no see. Take a breath. Anywhere. Just because you can't hear music, don't mean you can't feel it. Is that why all your instruments are broken? Out of tune. Hmm. We're looking for somebody. Hmm. Hey, here, shit. How's that? Oh, boy. Oh! Very rude. Wow. You see her, you give me a call. I'll do that. Uh-huh. But I love that this guy like forced his way into the house and is not actually thoroughly checking it. I don't really want him to, but it's kind of funny. Like he didn't check any other room. He was like, no, nope. I'm just gonna force my way in and throw some CDs around and then leave. You seem nice enough to me. Oh. Then again, I may just be grateful for the company. The bomb's dead. <gasps> Lost her and was left in my hearing on that same day. Oh no. You leave me here without helping me find that stereo. I must just stay. Somewhere I thought they'd be safe. And people died along the way. You tried. And people died. 
Did you put a gun to their head and force them to follow you over there? They were hers. Oh. I got them for her 40th birthday. She had an arrangement of old to joy all figured out for those pipes. That was her dream. That pipes. So damn loud. Hmm. Oh boy. I thought Patre was gonna work. So it's them. You're the one who asked them to find the late great Senator Vasquez so he could lead us to the promised land. How'd that go, by the way? I'm feeling that was his goal. Please! You said you knew the way! No. Not good. Not good. Oh no! After all that. It's the only thing that can drown it out. Drown what out? Her voice! Oh. High pitched whine. Then she screamed. And everything just went quiet. So I have a voice I can't get rid of either. What voice? One for my dream. And it was that same hooker that bit me. Mm -hmm. Whatever it was, all these people died because of me. Oh, yeah. Soon I'll help you take them out. Sooner you can get back to your people. So you can do what you need to do next. You thought somebody else was trying to tell you what to do. Because if you don't, you might be granted. It's going to get loud. Oh, boy. I'm bracing myself for the very loud Hello, music. Alicia. I hope it's not copyrighted. Got to be a tough edit. Take out the back. <laughs> Oh goodness, oh goodness, no! I'm not leaving you here. <laughs> you don't have a choice. It's not, okay. This is not gonna help your mental state. We just need to believe in what you can, Oh. You will, if they can't hear you. Open up! Aww. Goodness. Okay, well, I guess we're back okay. here. Okay. Just tell me what this is about. There might be a way to get the army we need. How? 
So I don't think it's too much to expect a straight answer to a straight question. Mm hmm What is this all about? We need to stop being vague. I've always had such strong voices around me, I've never stopped to really listen to mine. You're gonna become Padre? I'm going to give them what they want. A safe place to live. Just be ready. You got bit, right? Oh my goodness! Mr. Fillin, I'm gonna take the tower for ourselves. Okay, well this was an interesting mid-season premiere. It was definitely not what I necessarily expected. Um, you know, it, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. The only thing, because uh, I, I, I have thoughts on everything, but the only thing that I, I feel is a bit, maybe not, um, no, I'll say kind of bizarre was the, I guess, strategy for Alicia. I understand that they're desperate. I do understand that. And they, they need people. And if they're going to go to war, you need... I get it. I get that. But sending Alicia, who has been dealing with, like, fevers and not really... You know, she's not, she's not her best self at the moment, um, to go on a mission to go, like, try to negotiate with Arno to, you know, where... At, 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 I don't know that that was <laughs> the best strategy. Again, I know they're kind of desperate. They get to listen. I get that. I just, you know, I have some some issues with this. Um, okay. I have to say, I really did like Paul. It was upsetting. You know, I feel two ways about a lot of these characters that they bring on for one episode either they they die or they don't get a ton of development or whatever and that's fine you know it's the nature of the world that not everybody's going to make it and i i do believe that the the cast for fear is 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 pretty big um in general and they already have some main characters that I feel like don't get enough um, focus and, and and stuff like that. I, I so on on that end, it it doesn't really bother me when there are characters that they just have for an important impact for one episode, you know, and either maybe they die or or they head off and we don't really see that, or, you know, whatever. Um, and. However, I think also there are some times where they, the characters show a lot of promise and are really, really interesting. It would be an interesting character to follow. And so that kind of sucks a little bit when, you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm very aware that it's the world that they live in and, you know, nobody's completely safe, whatever. It, it, it's, a, it's a violent world, but I, you know, I just... Um, that was something that I, um, I did want to say, um, I really liked Paul and it would have been interesting if he would, he became kind of part of, of the, of the crew of, uh, you know, he, he seemed, um, to have a good vibe about him in my opinion. Um, but as I, you know, on the other end of it, you know, uh, I, I totally, think that we already have some some great characters that we have met and and haven't entirely focused on um and so the cast is pretty pretty I think the cast is pretty big for a show that tends to do kind of focus on one character episodes much like this you know Alicia we saw Morgan at the end but this was uh super focused on Alicia, 
which is great. I love when they focus on Alicia. She's a very important character to focus on. Um, but because of that nature of the show, I feel like sometimes, you know, the cast is really big and a lot of people get left in the background um, a lot. And, you know, characters that we, we care about and are, you know, um, that we've sort of uh, grown attached to. Um, but sometimes you have to you have to wait a while before you even see them again and, and stuff like that. So I just wanted to say that. But in general, the point of that all being was I, it was pretty sad to lose Paul. I did get emotional. You know, I I thought I didn't necessarily think I would, but it, you know, him kind of playing the bagpipes and you know tearing up while he did it because of everything with with his wife. And it, I, I I actually. Um, I found that to be kind of emotional and it would it just sucked seeing somebody like Arno kill somebody like Paul you know it's, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not the biggest fan let me just say that I'm not the biggest fan um but I will say I do like I liked what they focused on with Alicia in this episode I don't always love the you know um I don't dislike it. It's just sometimes I feel like it doesn't hit the mark, but I feel like everything that she's been through, um, this was a good thing for her to kind of um, take a look within herself and learn about herself with a little asterisk, I will say. Um, but the thing is, is that I, I like exploring the idea of doubting yourself when you possibly, you know, did something that you feel like was a bad decision or that got people killed. And, you know, the price of being a leader in the Walking Dead universe is that you're not going to make the right decisions every single time. And um, and I don't mean that in the sense of she wasn't doing what she thought. Now, to be fair, I, you know, probably would have been slightly skeptical if she's like, this walker is going to lead us, you know. You know how Morgan was looking at her in the in the mid-season finale? Like, you're following a walker? Alicia, are you okay? Are you okay? That would be me. That would be me. But, you know, um, it there are sometimes impossible situations you know, the, the place was going to, to crash down and probably, you know, it, it was not holding up. It was not being, you know, a, a steady structure that they were in. And, you know, she kind of clung on to what she could cling on to and trying to find some sort of safe haven, so to speak. And, yeah, people died along the way. And, you know, she takes it really, really hard. Um, my, and again, I'm not, you know, I, I, I wasn't super down with her following a walker around. However, my issue a lot of the times with people like Arno are that they don't, they, they blame somebody. And I understand if she assumed a leadership role. I get that a little bit. Um, but if they blame somebody for things not going exactly right, if they, you know, have a lot of things to say, but they never come up with any other option themselves. Now, I don't exactly know what the dynamic was at the time, so maybe, maybe he did, but I don't, you know, it, it always, um, when somebody has to make kind of hard decisions and lead people, and, you know, much like what Paul said, you know, you, did you hold a gun to their head and said, is they follow me or did they follow you willingly? You know, there's a little bit of, of that as well. But, uh, you know, that I always have a little bit of an issue with somebody just being like, this is a bad plan, but not really coming up with, you know, anything else. And maybe he didn't even say that. Maybe he just followed her willingly. Um, it would make sense seeing if he followed Teddy, w you know, w without question. But, 
you know, I just think, uh, you know, he's probably a bit upset because, you know, Teddy really hyped Alicia up as this, she's, this, she's the savior or whatever, <laughs> you know, and, uh, and, and she ended up getting some people killed. But at some point, you, you have to, I, 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 point being, I don't love the whole, you know, we followed you and, and this, you know, maybe, maybe, uh, if you don't have any better plans or alternatives, but although there seems to be a big pit, so I don't, I don't really know how that's going to come into play. But uh, so that's that's always kind of my issue with people who get really really pissed off with with um, leaders who 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 have to make possibly not so great decisions. Um, or they don't have a ton of wonderful options. You never know. You know sometimes. People take a leap of faith and they, they land right on their feet. Sometimes they take a leap of faith and they fall through a hole. You know what I mean? It's just you, sometimes that's that's how that goes. So um, anyway, that's just the, what I wanted to say in regards to that. I did like the idea of, of her struggling with that, though. You know, no matter what, kind of what she was trying to do with following this walker, whatever, I mean, I don't think she, she ever disagreed that it, it, it possibly people following her got killed. Um, maybe not entirely her fault, maybe other external factors and everything like that, but they were out in the world. So I think she takes, no matter what, the blame for it. And it's not in my opinion, a terrible thing to take accountability for, for stuff like that. But I also think possibly beating yourself up over something that might not have entirely been your fault is, is not going to help. I personally believe in Alicia as a leader. Um, and I think she's somebody who is decently suited. I think right now she is going through a lot. And I still don't know how I feel about her kind of like leaving at the end because obviously she keeps kind of, she keeps collapsing. Does she not? I mean, I just, maybe, hey, stick around for a little while, you know. I know that possibly time is of the essence. Have somebody go with her. Maybe. Do you, it, like speaking of, sorry, I mean, but like speaking of the like characters that are kind of in the background and not necessarily, um, you know, we have we have plenty of people and somebody that can that can go with her and possibly keep an eye on her. Because she's obviously, she's getting these fevers. It's not going very well. You know, as much as, you know, I'm glad that she's she's found it within herself that we're just going to make a safe place. I don't hate it. I don't necessarily think that Padre doesn't exist. But, um, and that there's not something out there. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm okay with the, the mentality of let's, it, you know, if we really want to save a place for people to live, let's make it. It was very, you know, and that, that, that was kind of the, the last little bits with, with Madison is, it was kind of something similar to that. And I, I like, I like that a lot. Um, her kind of realizing that, Hey, maybe we should, you know, I'm down for that. I just think, you know, set, just let's send somebody with her. Right. Just somebody. You know, she's obviously d d d trying to go on these missions when she's she's not doing her best, and that's not going to help anybody. It's also not going to help anybody if you, you catch a fever or something, you collapse, and then a walker eats your face off. I'm just talking slightly practically here. I just, okay. And don't think I don't believe in her, and I she's strong as hell, and I, I love her. But... 
You know? Am I crazy? Is that... Yeah. All right. That's just my... That's just my, uh... Just something I need to... Needed to say. Um... So it's it, it's interesting. I, I liked the uh, trying to her kind of looking into herself and, and, and trying to find a way that she she can lead again and and possibly just because maybe she made a bad call or 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 what could be about I think she was in a in a tough situation nonetheless but um you know that that doesn't necessarily mean that you're you're not a, a great leader um uh, stomach's growling I'm sorry <laughs> I'm so sorry <laughs> Um, anyway, I just wanted to, I guess, I guess that's, that's most of what I wanted to say. I did feel really, uh, I really didn't want Paul to die it, in, in, I liked him. So there's that. But also I felt like he, you know, after being like, you won't get me killed. You won't get everybody killed if they follow you. Having him die. I know it was for her to escape and I, like it, it, it was it was noble and the sacrifice and I love but it just you know I just didn't think that it was going to help her mental state if you know after she's like kind of beating herself up for getting people killed how much of it is her fault you know uh, but, uh, but um, in her mind she feels the guilt for getting people killed and then he and she's like if you stick around me you're gonna die and then he's like no i won't and then he did so <laughs> as soon as that was like gonna happen i was like oh no i feel like this is not what she needs right now you know what i mean anyway um it was an interesting mid-season premiere definitely not what i expected but you know uh it, there were definitely aspects that i enjoyed all right, if you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.